I'm here in Mexico City at Coyacan Market and with Chef Edgar Nunez, one of the best chefs in Mexico. Thank you so much for showing me around Thank you. today. Thank you for coming. I'm here in front of a stall that sells all kinds of chilies, moles, and I would love to learn more about this basis of Mexican cooking. So tell us what we've got here. Well, this is uh, the part of the dry things, you know. You, we can find the moles, the pepians, uh, some dried chilies, a lot of things that we used to use every day in our kitchen. So explain the basic idea of a mole. Well, the mole is uh, amazing, you know, because if you try to ask me how the Mexicans are, I can translate as a mole. We are like a mole, you know, oh, yeah. because we are half Mexican, a little bit of European, a little bit of Asians. That's why we have these almonds, the nuts, uh, the a lot of things that are very common in Mexican food, but uh, they're not from Mexico. So the mole, it's this uh, bicultural or a lot of cultures in one paste. There's different typical Mexican sweets. So would you just have this um, like on the table, people just eat? Yep. Or well, this yep. one you just slice up? Yes, and... this is a pumpkin. Right, amazing. Calabaza en tacha. Calabaza en tacha. This is with your name. Whoa! <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's uh, fresh. It's yeah, okay. it's wet. So we need to. Wow. <laughs> this is a tostada. Okay. No? It's the corn, yep. the tortilla. Fried and it's hard. Yeah. No? So this amazing juice is with pineapple, guava, and alfalfa. And it's so refreshing. It's sweet but tart at the same time and I love my big goblet. It's delicious. It's beautiful. It's called tejamanil. It's a different mushroom? Yes. Or? It's a, yeah, this a, a mix of uh, different mushrooms. Okay. This is uh, the cuitlacoche. It's a, it's a corn infected with a mushroom who make it black, you know? Wow. So it, grows naturally in the corn in this rainy season yeah and uh, for us it's uh, one of our most precious products that we have in Mexico what's the secret to good canitas the pork and the way that they cook the, you know we're gonna see us at the restaurant okay okay yeah and then we're gonna cook all these things so amazing I'm having such a good time thank you thank you this is so exciting <laughs> This is my greenhouse. That's so great. We make uh, flowers for the dishes. We don't have more tomatoes. We're gonna we leave these ones for for half the seeds, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're gonna make it again. But when it's in the season, you can see covered here in tomatoes and, uh, cool. and green. But we are in the end of the season. Uh -huh. But uh, we have uh, this uh, season with uh, the greens. We have a lot of uh, different kind of lettuce. Uh, basil and uh, you know um, small things that we used to make for our for our dishes. Here we are at Suit 777, or I should say Suit 777. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. With uh, the restaurant of Chef Edgar Nunez, we have our beautiful ingredients from the Coyacan market. And now, tell me what we're going to make. So we're going to make a. A uh, very Mexican thing that we used to have uh, our houses with uh, the mushrooms that we recollect in the in the woods. Okay. You know? This is a rainy season, the, so we are very powerful country with mushrooms. Yes. And uh, we use it a lot. So you're just looking for a mixture of yeah. texture and yeah. flavor. Yeah. Put a little bit of oil. Yeah. Know? I always put first. The mushrooms, always. Mushroom before the garlic? Yes. And why because is that? Because you can burn it. Okay. And then it tastes. Yeah, better. you don't like burnt garlic, yeah. it's not nice. I always put the garlic in the rice, in the things, in the middle of the, really? the process. Okay. You know, because yeah. I don't like this uh, flavor with a uh, burnt flavor, you know? Sure. So then I'm gonna put the pasote. We can put it like this. And then we can put some chili, fresh chili. Wow. That's so simple and beautiful. Yeah. This could be in one of you can put it in any restaurant in the world, this dish. You know? Yeah. So 
Um, Let me try it. Amazing. So how would you, what else could you do with this? You could, um, tell me what else you could do with this. You can put a cheese and make a quesadilla. Mm -hmm. Dame una tortilla y dame queso, denme queso Oaxaca, ¿no hijo por fin? Mm. Wow. Come on, minute. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. It's like I feel like I'm out in the forest. This is queso Oaxaca, the son of the mozzarella cheese. Uh -huh. The uh, like the same same way of make uh, yeah. the cheese. The monasters bring it here to Mexico and we make it like this not in a not in a not in a bowl in a bowl we made it like uh, you know like a big um, things like this right you know? but it's basically the same this is a fresh yeah fresh cheese yeah um, and then we mix it and then we uh, we put in a tortilla then right. we have a quesadilla. Okay. So a quesadilla basically means a folded tortilla, there's something with cheese in yes. it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm. Thank you so much for having me here today and for cooking with me. It's been really a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming.